hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i will show you how to do the deployment of ecs so uh, what is ecs so aws ecs is an elastic container service and it is a fully managed container orchestration service that simplifies your deployment management scaling of containerized applications so it can describe your applications and the resources required so amazon will ecs will launch monitor and scale your applications across flexible compute options with automatic integrations to your aws services so you can perform system operations such as creating scaling capacity rules and it can query data from application logs so this way ecs it will be helpful for your containerized applications so in ecs you can see here there are two options one is ec2 mode and one is forget serverless mode so we will deploy ec2 mode and forget serverless mode so basically forget is nothing but a serverless architecture so forget will deploy the servers inside the aws data center which is not in from aws account so you can see the servers only in ec2 mode not in the serverless architecture so it will deploy the shared infra ec2 and containers in the inside the data center but it, you don't have any access to that so you will have elastic network interface between the fargate and the shared infra ec2 containers so you will be connecting through the elastic ip so that you can uh, access these servers or whatever the container is applications so here you will be having a ec2 servers in the your aws account which is in the ec2 mode so we will deploy the uh, one e ecr using the one image so it will be deploying the ecr into this uh, ec2 mode and forget serverless mode so let's get back to the console and achieve this so go to ecs So let's let me go back to the ECS instead of ECR. So this is the ECS console. So you can manage your containers with the ECS service. So let's get started. So there is no clusters in my Mumbai region. So let me create a cluster. So I'll name it as demo target cluster. So I'll go for target cluster the first time and the VPC. And I have two subnets. So before that, I need to show you the VPC architecture for this. So I have single VPC in my Mumbai region, and it starts with 10.80 series. And subnets are two subnets. One is private and one is public. And I have two row tables. One is public row table, and it is attached to the Internet Gateway. And the second one is private row table. It is attached to the private subnet. So there is no NAT gateway here. So we need to create a NAT gateway. Let me create a NAT gateway. Select your public subnet, attach an elastic IP for this, and create an ad gateway. It will take some time to create an ad gateway for this. It is in pending state. So let me route that. We are out for that ad gateway. Add route. Choose an ad gateway. So whenever it is in provision it will be appeared here so route tables and nothing from uh, the vpc architecture so i have a security group it is open to all and go for forget ecs cluster demo forget cluster and the vpc choose two subnets and i'll go for a public subnet instead of taking the private subnet and i can choose two I ha I have given the namespace, so I haven't chosen the infrastructure as AWS forget. It is in hide hide mode, 
so you cannot uh, untick this so I will go for AWS forget serverless cluster for this time so you can see here so backend it will be creating a cloud formation template and you will be accessing the template and resources whatever it is having for the forget cluster so you can see here create in progress create in progress resources is creating the cluster it will take some time to create and you can jump on to the creating the cluster in ECS mode ECS EC2 mode so I can show you right one forget serverless mode and one is EC2 mode so let me deploy a ECS EC2 mode demo cluster and you can see here the forget cluster has been created successfully the pop-up and you choose the network vpc and i'll go for two subnets and the demo cluster and the ec2 instances you need to choose your infrastructure so it you are having the auto scaling group here so choose a linux 2 and ec2 instances as p2 dot medium I'll go for uh, t2.medium and minimum is 2 and maximum is 3 and no need of key pair so I don't want to connect those instances so create it so whenever you create the cluster in ECS it will generate a cloud formation template in the backend so you will have a one more cluster cloud formation template it will be running here so it is in create in progress so it will create whatever the cloud formation template is having so let me go to the fargate cluster so before this you need to have a ec2 instance for to take the image so i have an image from docker launch a ec2 instance so select instance type as p2.micro key pair is my existing key pair so i'll go for public subnet and i will enable the public ip and the existing security key it is gp3 so click on advanced details and you can write here uh, or else you can uh, do it uh, in the after installation also and you can launch an incident instance So you can see here the demo for the cluster has been created. So it is this, this is the error and, and this, this state is inactive and there is no task. So you need to create task definition before the cluster has been created after the created or you can create whenever you want. So you need to create a new task definition. So you need to give target task definition and you need to give whatever it is I need to pull this docker image into my ECR and I need to control it and I need to give the image URI here so for this I am launching EC2 instance let me connect to this So login by as EC2 user. So 
मैं ऐसा लॉग इन तो टाइप डॉकर सो देयर इज नो डॉकर कमांड सो यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल एम इंस्टॉल डॉकर टेक लास्ट फॉर ऑथराइजेशन सो यू नीड टू क्लिक ऑन बाय So it has been completed the installation. So let me check the Docker status. So it is in that state. We need to enable and run it. Start the Docker. Check the status. So you can see here active and it is running. So let me check the Docker is working or not. So it is working fine. So Docker images. I need to. pull the nginx repo here so i need to copy the docker pull nginx so it will check the inside the local after that it will go to the docker repository and it will fetch the nginx repository image so you can see here docker images so you will have the nginx latest repository image and you need to copy this image to the ecr where i need to create a repo i'll go for storm hyphen repo i'll create a private repo create a repository so this is my repository name so inside there is no images inside this so i need to copy here so for this you will have a push commands so this is for authentication so before that you need to have your access key and secret keys Have my access key and secret keys here. So I'll go for default region as Mumbai. Go for JSON format default. So you need to uh, authenticate your Docker with the first command. It's a Docker client to your registry. You can see here login is succeeded. So in the second command, you need to build your own image. So I have the nginx image. So you need to tag this image. So you can see here, I have the third party image as nginx. So this is the tag command. So you need to give the nginx nginx latest to. go for v1 so you can see here i'll give you the version 1 so for this repo i have given the nginx image as version 1 so now i need to copy this image to the ecr to this docker push with the command so my tag is v1 So it is pushing to this ECR repo, which is in AWS. The name is Tarun Repo Repository, and the tag name is version one. So this Nginx image is going to push into the ECR. So let me verify. Close this and refresh it. You can see here version one image tag and seventy point sixty MB. It has been done. It has been pushed into our repository as Tarun repo. So this copy URI you need to copy here and go to task definition of the ECS in Fargate, and you need to paste it here. Image URI. So it will take the image from ECR and it will create a service and task definition for the your containers. And the next, so container port eighty, Nginx eighty, HTTP. Make sure that in your security group that AT port is enabled. So click on next, and I am going as app environment as far our get serverless and the Linux environment. So I'll go for zero point two five CPU and zero point five GB for my container to resolve CPU and memory. And I have the ECS task execution role. If you don't have any, create a new role. And if you can specify the storage, ephemeral storage. 
so it is creating outside the AWS account which is you have so it is shared infra so you cannot add your internal storage like EBS volumes it will create ephemeral storage and I don't want any log collections or log trace reports metric collections click on next and create so the task definition has been created for the Fargate cluster so go to the Fargate cluster and create a service definition for this so after the task definition you need to create a service definition for this so existing cluster it has been used and I'll go for launch type so why did you choose the launch type as it will be using a capacity provider strategy instead of launch type so if you choose a capacity provider it will be more uh, one or more capacity providers for the, your task so I'm going for launch type as Fargate instead of EC2 and the latest perform version is latest and I'll go for service so this is the service this is the computer options and this is the deployment configuration options which is the application type you, if you choose the task it will run a single time and it will kill the task so if you choose the service it will be a long run long running computing work that can be stopped and restarted for this option so you need to choose your family the Fargate task definition which is created in the here you need to choose and you can give it as Fargate service definition so I'll go with the service name as whatever you want so this is a task as I am specifying as number one to launch how many in the number of tasks to be launched and deployment options you will have and no need to choose these options and go to networking so choose the subnets whatever the subnets you want and uh, you can use an existing security rule or create a new security rule and make sure that your public IP should be turned on why because you are accessing the, your uh, servers from outside of the your account so you need to connect the servers using public IP so it is a web page right Nginx web page so you can also add load balancer on, on top of that so I no need of uh, giving that why because I had to turn on the public IP here so let me create this so you can see here the cloud formation template has been create, created in the backend so refreshes we'll have a Fargate service definition here you can see here the last status is pending desired status is running and the health status is unknown it will take some time to update so you can see here deployment task one by one status is running and go to the task and go to the task running and click on the networking and choose the public IP paste it in browser you have enabled port 80 it is still in deployment so you need to initialize the container and all these things it will take some time let's wait So it has been created the private subnet so sorry for the confusion we need to delete the service so again we need to create the service definition for this you 
here we need to choose only the public sublet instead of private sublet so it will give the public IP for this and choose the launch type as forget and application type as service and the service definition give it as a forget service def and you can choose the replication replica for the service type how many decide you need to choose your cluster and the security group yes you can choose and create the public IP enable so clock formation is going to deploy now you can see here the task is running and it is in provision now you can see that public IP And you can see here it has been configured now and go to tasks inside the services after the task so click on this task and you can copy the public IP paste it here you can see here welcome to nginx web page has been appeared so this is where you can deploy a AWS Fargate serverless out of the infra you can create EC2 and containers inside the EC2 so your containers will be deployed automatically using of ECS Fargate. So this is where the concept and you can have the elastic network interface uh, behind this AWS Fargate and the shared infra. So it should place here. So with this elastic interface, you need to connect your Fargate clusters and whatever the images it has been appeared here you need to deploy this and go to the, let me close this. And let me go to the cluster of EC2 ECS EC2 mode. So uh, I have showed you the Fargate serverless architecture for this. Now you, we need to go to EC2 mode. We need to deploy application load balancer. It will automatically create, and the EC2 is, will be automatically deployed from the uh, task definition. So let me achieve this. So click on ECS EC2 mode. So there is no task definition for the EC2. So let me create a new task definition. So this is for ECS, EC2 task definition and it is nginx repo and copy this URI, paste it here. This is, there is no private registry for this private registry authentication because it is in, uh, inside the ECR. So I am enabling the AT port. click on next so choose the uh, app environment as EC2 why because it is a EC2 mode uh, instead of forget so you need to choose app environment as Amazon EC2 instances and I'll go for 0 0.75 CPU or 2.5 and I'll go for 0 0.5 GB memory the same rows need to be attached and there's no just no storage so you can see here there is no ephemeral storage here so if you go in the Fargate you will be having ephemeral storage here so now it is EBS volumes and there is no no need of uh, using this you can if you want you can uh, add it metric collection container log collection trace location and create it go to the cluster and EC2 ECS demo so you need to create here and existing cluster as capacity provide launch type as Fargate and the platform version is latest now you need to choose EC2 instead of launch type as Fargate 
and the service definition and you need to choose the family type ECS EC2 task definition and name it as nginx service definition and I am going for desert task as one so it should be replica so if you choose a daemon it will be one of your copy task of each container service and it will place and you need to opt on non-service connect choose the network and you need to go for public or private it will be choose here it should be two availability zones and security group is there and i'll create a load balancer on top of this why because it, this is a private subnet so it will the service will be created in private subnet so i'll choose application load balancer on top of this to enable the public ip for that so let me close this application load balancer choose the application load balancer so load balancer name as application ECS EC2 and the next is 8080 create a new listener as it create a new target group ECS TG and that's it there is no auto scaling for here. I have uh, it, will, it will use a service auto scaling. I have already enabled for this auto scaling, so no need to give this. No need to give the service auto scaling, but you will have the option as use service auto scaling, so it will be default and create it. Uncheck this and create it. So, backend the cloud formation template is running, so it will take some time to create it. So, go to EC2 ECS mode and refresh this. And let me go to EC2 and you can see here target group will be created and load balancer one will be created it will be automatically attached to the load balancer you can see here the auto scaling group has been created so this is where you have created from ECS the cluster itself so whenever you are creating a cluster for ECS EC2 mode you will be having a uh, auto scaling for this so it will be a desired capacity as 2 and maximum as a 3 capacity so I have given the, in the first starting itself so you can see here in the instances page I will have t3 dot medium 2 servers will be deployed from ECS so on top of this auto scaling will be there so t2 dot medium 2 servers has been deployed in 1A and 1B Let me go to the auto load balancer. So still it is creating. And it is in frozen state. So with this DNS name you need to check this whether it is working or not. it is still in provisioning right so you cannot see that uh, whether it is working or not let's let take a look so here you can see here engineering service definition has been created and go to the tasks so there is no task running so now the task has been created and you can see here the task is running it is in pending state
status is in pending and result status is running let me see the target group healthy status so the target has not initiated target registration is in progress so one has been registered now it is in running state now you can check the public ip your dns now it is in healthy state it should pop up let me check the subnet in which it is created so it is created in private subnet that's fine So you can see here the application load balancer has been deployed and you can see the web page for this. So I have cross check from the backend. So NS lookup for this application load balancer it has been shared by IPs. So the application is working fine. So this is where you can your you can manage your containers through ECS. So this is Elastic Container Service. You need to have your own image. Uh, whether it is uh, deployed from uh, developers or you can uh, create your own image so you can push it to ECR or you will have a third party container like docker hub so from that you need to have your uh, repository URL and the login page whether it is a private repo or public repo after that you will have the two options like you can choose uh, serverless Fargate or EC2 mode so if you choose serverless, it will be a shared infra and the containers will be deployed in EC2 in a, which is in a different AWS account and it is in a different uh, data center which is far, uh, far compared to this EC2 mode. So when you choose EC2 mode, it will be application load balance on top of the EC2 instances and the EC2 instances will be in auto scaling when you create the task definition and these containers will be deployed in Amazon EC2 in each of the EC2 instances. So you will be having your own image for this ECR and this is where containers will be managed from the ECS. So you can see here, it is a fully managed containers and it is a highly scalable fast container management service that makes it easy to run, stop and manage containers on a cluster. So make sure that uh, you need to terminate all these things. So let me uh, delete the Fargate cluster. Before that, you need to delete the task definition for this. Uh, go to the Fargate uh, task definition, choose this. You don't have any option to delete it. After the register, you can delete it. 
and the same thing EC2 ECS task definition you need to go inside and click on actions deregister and go to the clusters and I'll remove the first the forget you need to choose the service definition also delete service I'll choose for post delete there is no service definitions and not us now I need to delete the cluster I'm deleting the forget cluster So back end the cloud formation template template will be deleted. So you can see here the cluster uh forget cluster has been deleted. So go to EC2 EC2 ECS mode. So choose the service, delete service, post delete. And it has been successfully deleted. So you need to delete your cluster. When you delete the cluster, the load balancer or target groups whatever the ec2 instances uh, it has been raised from your aws account and the auto scaling group will be automatically terminated from the ecs so no need to worry about that So you can see here the target group will be deleting automatically let's wait for some time and you can see here 503 so it's temporarily unavailable and also let me delete the thorium repo You can see here there is no running servers for the ECS which is and created. So you can see this Docker I have stopped and Docker testing images I have created for pushing the ECR image, pushing the Nginx image to the ECR. And this is the demo cluster which has been deployed from ECS. So it has been automatically terminated. And there is no target groups also. It will automatically delete. So there is no auto scaling group here so it is deleted now so let's wait for the load balancer and target groups should be deleted So the cluster has been deleted so automatically it will delete the backend so no need to worry about that so the cluster has been cleaned up successfully and this is where you need to achieve this ECS and make sure that you need to terminate all these things so there will be no working of this load balancer so this might be a catch eh? so that's it guys thanks for watching my video please do let me know if you have any queries please post in the comment box thank you